It's a four-story building on an angle. Can you see it? Can you see the narrow windows of the they look like coin slots? That's where the four firing rooms exist. Number one is on the left, and number four is way over on the right. Number one will be used by NASA, number four will be used by the commercial company. On the roof of the Launch Control Center, back in 1998, was President Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton watching John Glenn being launched. On that same roof would be the wives and husband of the astronauts and their children uh, watching uh, the loved one getting launched. On that same roof was Gabriel Giffords watching Mark Kelly getting launched, her husband. Over to the left in the distance, why it's so wide, it weighs 8.2 pounds on top of the two tail surface mass for the umbilical connections, 31 feet tall, behind it are six water nozzles, 12 feet high for sound suppression. Underneath is a six million pound crawler transport, we've got two of those, made in Marion, Ohio, by Marion Power Shovel Gun Company. On each corner are two tracks, eight all together. Each track has 57 shoes, each shoe weighs about 2,000 pounds. Here's a cabin right here, there are two drivers, one driver stands, one driver sits, and they go back and forth every 30 minutes exchanging positions. And the crawler is about 20 feet high as it stands right now, but it can jack itself up to 26 feet high. There are the pillars right there next to the fence that we sit the platform down on. And the other reason is to get rid of my vibration so we don't break the eight bolts that hold down the shutter to the platform before we get to the pad. We don't want to lose it. Now this pad right here is 48 feet above sea level. If you dig a hole in the ground, you're too close to the water table, just fill with water. So we had to build a flame trench above the ground. The flame trench is 42 feet high, 450 feet long, and 58 feet wide. It took the crawler transport one hour to get up that hill.